Well, you know him for X, Tesla, and SpaceX, but now Elon Musk is coming to Memphis to build the world's largest supercomputer. An unlikely story if there ever was one. This is a multi-billion dollar investment bringing jobs and major money to our bluff city. Tonight we have live team coverage on the announcement from the Greater Memphis Chamber. That's right, and we begin with Action News 5's Tavarius Haywood with details on this major development. T. Wood? Well, the chamber's president and CEO Ted Townsend is calling this the uh, largest investment in the city of Memphis's history. Now, while he did not give the exact location of this new, you know, gigafactory, um, our partners at the Memphis Business Journal confirmed that the old Electrolux building will house this supercomputer. To announce that XAI's gigafactory of compute the world's largest supercomputer is to be located in Memphis, Tennessee. Cheers from Memphis business leaders for the city's next major company. Been waiting for this moment. Ted Townsend, president and CEO of the Greater Memphis Chamber, says this is single-handedly the largest multi-billion dollar capital investment by a new market company in Memphis history. In less than 90 days, the Greater Memphis Chamber's economic development team moved at lightning speed to ensure Memphis would be in a position to be selected by XAI. XAI is a new artificial intelligence startup company led by Elon Musk, who also has Tesla and SpaceX. XAI's website says they are working to build artificial intelligence to accelerate human scientific discovery. It takes data scientists and computational engineers and, and the top creative talent in the artificial intelligence space. The Memphis Business Journal says this would only bring hundreds of jobs to the area and will be located in the old Electrolux building, which is owned by Phoenix investors. Townsend would not confirm the location. Ted, can you tell us if this is the old Electrolux building? I'm not at liberty to identify the location specifically due to global security concerns. We wanted to know what a supercomputer is and how Musk plans to use the one he plans to build here in Memphis. Really fuel and fund the, the AI space for all of his companies first, obviously with Tesla and SpaceX. If you can imagine the computational power necessary to place humans on the surface of Mars, that is going to happen here in Memphis. Now, we are hearing that the facility is set to open sometime later this year, but that's still pending approval from organizations like the uh, TVA and the Memphis Shelby County Economic Development Growth Engine. Uh, we will keep you updated as this story continues to develop. In Shelby County, Tavares Haywood, Action News 5. All right, T. Wood, and with this major announcement comes, as you can imagine, a lot of questions from you, Memphians, our viewers. So our Bria Bolden continues our team coverage tonight. She got out on the streets to talk to folks today about any questions or concerns that they may have. Bria, what'd you hear? Yeah, well, Memphians tell me overall they still have just a lot of questions about this, especially about how many jobs this will bring to the area. Um, we're told that it's it's bringing hundreds of jobs, the lower hundreds, and also why Musk chose Memphis to begin with. A majority of the people I spoke with do think this is a positive for Memphis, and some would like to see Musk reinvest in our community once things are up and running. Memphis needs to be the hub in the region for technology, and if Elon Musk is bringing that here, then it's just going to create jobs. It's going to create tech jobs, and it might create partnerships with the different schools, the University of Memphis, Rhodes College, Christian Brothers, where they could utilize that supercomputer. I would personally love to see, instead of you coming into this place and like profiting off the fact that it is easy to make money here, I would love to see them invest in the community as well. If you're gonna profit off of the community, reinvest into the community. So we've also seen questions online about how this would affect MLGW's power grid. So we asked MLGW, they tell us Elon Musk's company is planning to build a substation, adding the company could generate, quote, significant additional revenues for MLGW, further supporting our reliability and grid modernization efforts. Now we've also 
Um, we also talked to MLGW President and CEO Doug McGowan, who tells us in part, quote, MLGW will meet the company's utility needs without putting our power grid or water resources at risk. He goes on to say that it's important that the company agree to join an electricity demand response program. Now, this means that when demand on the grid gets high, they will reduce their consumption, ensuring an available supply of energy for all customers. Now, Doug McGowan also says the company is going to be joining in with discussion with MLGW along with the TVA on a gray water facility design plan that will provide cooling water for this company once they arrive in Memphis. Reporting live from downtown Memphis, Bria Bolden, Action News 5. Thank you, Bria. Many political leaders are weighing in on the announcement of the Memphis Supercomputer Project. Tennessee House Minority Leader Karen Kemper released a statement saying in part, quote, this investment by XAI further affirms my belief in the power of the Memphis area and what it can become. Going on to say, quote, I have to congratulate Mayor Young. You may recall Karen Kemper ran for mayor last year. I have to congratulate Mayor Young and his team for their ability to make this happen quickly. And I know he's proud of how this feeds into his vision of making Memphis a tech hub for young black professionals. Now from across the aisle, State Senator Brent Taylor also sharing his thoughts, releasing this statement saying in part, quote, Tennessee cannot be successful if its most famous city is not successful. I am pleased with Musk's decision to invest in our community, and I intend to do all that I can to make XAI a success, end quote. So make sure you stay with Action News 5 for the latest developments on this project. For all the details released during today's news conference and more reaction from state leaders, Go to actionnews5.com.